Have you ever wondered how scientists figure out if something really works or if it's just a coincidence? Well, that's where controlled experiments come in. They're like the detectives of the scientific world, helping us uncover the truth about how things work. Today, we're going to break down exactly what makes a controlled experiment tick and why they're so important in science. A controlled experiment is a scientific test where researchers carefully change just one factor while keeping everything else the same. Think of it like baking cookies. If you want to know if using brown sugar instead of white sugar makes a difference, you'd make two batches of cookies exactly the same way, changing only the type of sugar. That way, you know for sure that any differences in the cookies are because of the sugar change, not because of something else, like the brand of cookie dough or the temperature of the oven. Let's talk about the different types of variables in a controlled experiment. The independent variable is the one thing you choose to change. In our cookie example, that's the type of sugar. There can only be one independent variable in a controlled experiment. The dependent variable is what you measure to see the results, maybe the taste, texture, or color of the cookies. Then there are the fixed variables, also called controlled variables. These are all the things you keep exactly the same, like the baking temperature, cooking time, and amount of all other ingredients. Keeping these variables fixed is super important because it ensures that any changes you observe are really caused by your independent variable. When conducting a controlled experiment, you'll always have two groups, the experimental group and the control group. The experimental group receives the change you want to test, like using brown sugar in our cookie example. The control group is kept exactly the same as usual using white sugar. Think of the control group as your baseline. It shows you what happens when you don't make any changes. This comparison between the two groups is what makes controlled experiments so powerful. Having a control group is absolutely crucial in scientific experiments. Without it, you'd have no way to know if your results are actually caused by your change or if they're just happening by chance. One experiment usually isn't enough to prove anything in science. That's why scientists perform multiple trials. They repeat the same experiment several times to make sure their results are consistent and not just a fluke. Think about flipping a coin. If you flip it once and get heads, you can't conclude that the coin always lands on heads. But if you flip it a hundred times and keep track of the results, you'll get a much better picture of what's really going on. Multiple trials help scientists identify patterns and ensure their findings are reliable. Remember, controlled experiments are all about being methodical and precise. By carefully controlling variables, using control groups, and performing multiple trials, scientists can be confident that their results are accurate and meaningful. Whether you're doing a science fair project or reading about the latest scientific discoveries, understanding how controlled experiments work helps you better appreciate the careful process that goes into making new scientific discoveries.